Hello YouTube, today I'll be covering um, Butterwort and Sundew Care, or also known as Drosera and Pinguicula. So this is this will be for Pinguicula marinensis, Pinguicula gigantea, Drosera capillaris, and Drosera capensis, and possibly some others I'm forgetting. So right here is Pinguicula marinensis. They like to be grown in, well they seem to tolerate peat. They also seem to tolerate inorganic mixes, such as right here, I've got them in turfus, with baked clay. They can also grow in uh, limestone gravel. So they're pretty diverse. They can also grow straight on a rock. So they can grow pretty much on anything that doesn't have too much nutrient. They also like to be heavily watered when they're growing, when they're growing their carnivorous leaves. And, um, you can let them go drier in the off season in the winter time if you get winter where you live and they will start to turn into a little bit of a succulent and after a few more months they will completely have turned into a succulent and then once it's springtime again or whenever you decide after a few months you can start watering again and they will turn back into a carnivorous plant almost immediately within a few weeks it, if you don't pay attention too much to the plant, it seems like it's immediate, so... But yeah, just make sure they get water that's under 150 parts per million, or 160, I think. If you go a bit over, that's okay, but optimal is 160, 150, or lower. They don't like too much nutrients going into their roots, but they like it from their bugs on their leaves. Same for sundews. So, for... This is Drosera capillaris over here. The care is pretty much, for me, it's exactly the same as capensis. You put them in some peat or sphagnum moss, they can even grow in turfus or on a stone. And then you just make sure they never dry out. Make sure they get the same sort of clean water. They like to grow with mosses because they like both like water. You can see how nice these look. I don't really do anything except water these. They catch their own food, fertilize themselves, the lights in the water is basic, basically all you need. If you don't grow them in lights, they'll tend to possibly etiolate unless you have a bright window. A really bright window, they'll grow, but um, they have a chance of uh, slowing down more if it's the off season, if it's not sunny. So yeah, it's best to grow them under lights, pingus and sundews. Uh, yeah, over here I've got some capensis. I have loads of capensis. It's so easy to grow. Once you get a single flower stem, you'll get like 10,000 seeds. See over here, it's a sundew field. For insects, it's like a minefield. Probably be terrifying if you're an insect, but it's pretty awesome for me. Oh, okay. Over here I've got some... Actually, I've got Drosera adelaide. It likes to be a bit more humid, otherwise it'll lose its dew. And it likes to have a little bit more water, I've noticed. Uh, other than that, it likes the pretty much the exact same conditions as Capillaris and Capensis, I've noticed. Um, over here I've got Drosera Adel, uh, no, Alicia, Alice Sundew. And it basically grows almost identically to the Capillaris. It looks almost identical too, as well as the Capensis. They're very similar. Yeah, see, capensis will grow pretty much anywhere. Here it's just growing in pure sphagnum, live sphagnum. Over here I've got some growing in a old juice container. Under the lights, I've got four T5 bulbs here, simple fluorescence. Uh, and a fan. They like to have a fan or else they can get moldy. That's true with most plants, most soil too. If there's no wind, it'll get moldy, it's wet. So. Okay, over here I've got some Pingu gigantea. You can see this is, these are juveniles, and they're pretty big. They're as big as a full-grown Pinguicula morinensis. See the gigantea. Here's the full-grown gigantea. My hand for comparison. It's about the size of my splayed hand, pretty much. It's a huge pingu. Alright, I 
think that's everything. Hopefully I didn't forget something. Anyways, here's a nice shot of the whole table. Alright, thanks for watching.